Hello. This little video was inspired by a conversation I had the other day with someone who does not use Final Cut 10, and we were talking about skimming. And I was going on about how wonderful it was, and they noted that Premiere Pro has the same thing, quote unquote, called Hover Scrub. So I just thought I would make this little video to show the differences between various NLEs and how you can quickly find and preview things in Final Cut 10. If you use Final Cut 10, none of this is news. If you don't and you want to explain skimming to somebody, maybe this will be helpful. This is not bashing other NLEs. I use them. I have them all. There they are. I got them all. So let's uh, talk about Final Cut 10 and then we'll just look at the other ones real quick. Skimming allows you to quickly move around through clips, the timeline, previewing effects without clicking and dragging or needing to apply anything. In the browser, you can skim through audio, you can skim through the source material. In the timeline, you can skim the timeline itself. You can skim a clip. So it's very useful for things such as this. I don't even have to have the playhead over these. I can just quickly see what each of these clips in this massive pile is. I can go in here, I can do just the audio, no soloing, I can do this. I can also preview effects. If I want to do an audio effect, I can select the clip I want to effect, skim through those, find out the one I like, then choose to apply it. Same deal with video effects. Let's use, say, this one. If I want to see what that will look like on this, again, if it's selected, I don't need the playhead over it. I can just skim through these quickly, discover that I want these crazy rays. Really super useful and saves tons of clicking and time. In Premiere, we have Hover Scrub, which allows you to essentially skim through a clip. It doesn't do anything with audio. Like Final Cut 10, you can set an in and out here in the browser and just cut it in your sequence. In the timeline, yeah, there's no skimming, and um, so you need to solo things or you know change the visibility to see what's up. A lot of clicking, audio effects, video effects. The only way to see them is to apply them and then hit undo a million times. That is also true in Resolve. You can skim in the browser. Doesn't help you with audio. Same deal. You have to bring it into the source monitor. And very similar to Premiere, you would disable everything and then say, I want to look at this clip, this clip. In Media Composer, it's there is no skimming. You have to bring it into the source monitor. You can toggle the source record um, so you can look at other sequences and use them as source. You, uh, the way you would look at a pile of composites or whatever is to um, target the visibility, which is cool. So, as far as the skimming ability, Final Cut 10, there's nothing like it. That's not bashing anything else, I'm just saying. Skimming is a huge, huge time saver. And that's the difference. Hover scrub does not equal skimming.